Brothers and sisters and everyone who's watching, this is about the seed of Yitzhak. Yitzhak is Isaac. Yitzhak in Hebrew means Isaac in English. We're in the book of Genesis, Genesis 17, starting at verse 17. Then Abraham bowed down to the ground, but he laughed to himself in disbelief. How could I become a father at the age of 100, he thought. And how can Sarah have a baby when she is 90 years old? So Abraham said to God, May Ishmael live under your special blessing. But God replied, No, Sarah, your wife, will give birth to a son for you. You will name him Isaac, and I will confirm my covenant with him as his descendants as an everlasting covenant. Also in Genesis 22, starting in verse 11. But Hagar and Ishmael are sent away. Starting in verse 11. This upset Abraham very much because Ishmael was his son. But God told Abraham, Do not be upset over the boy and your servant. Do whatever Sarah tells you, for Isaac is the son through whom your descendants will be counted. Fulfillment in the Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews 11, starting at verse 17. This is the statement of faith, the one that I had a dream about. The only dream that I had. It was by faith that Abraham offered Isaac as a sacrifice when God was testing him. Abraham, who had received God's promises, was ready to sacrifice his only son Isaac, even though God had told him, Isaac is the son through whom your descendants will be counted. Abraham reasoned that if Isaac died, God was able to bring him back to life again. And in a sense, Abraham did receive his son back from the dead. Remember, the book of Hebrews is in the New Testament, the Brit Hadashat. And, and in the Gospel of Luke, Luke 3, starting at 34. And Judah was the son of Jacob. Jacob was the son of Isaac. Isaac was the, son, was the son of Abraham. Abraham was the son of Terah. And Terah was the son of Nahor. If you know anyone who is Jewish, you have Jewish friends that don't believe, Remember, this is a matter of everlasting life or everlasting death. Please share this with them so that they may have eyes to see and ears to hear. God bless you all.